Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Woodmere State Revival. Back down at the house this weekend trying to get our pool plumbing finished up. We took uh, several big deliveries of pool equipment this week and uh, got all that stuff delivered in and, and are ready to install. So right now we got uh, the Stansbury crew here trying to get uh, all the plumbing and everything done uh, to get ready to start installing some of that equipment. Got my dad here, got my brother here, and uh, Amber and the boys will be down here in just a minute. Uh, to all pitch in and, and get this pool ready. So we're looking forward to uh, being able to enjoy it this spring. Let me show you where we're getting started out. All right, so we got, uh, like I said, we got my dad and my brother here. Say hi, guys. How's it going? Got a good shot of dad's backside there. At least I wore pants without a hole in it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> So what Chad, Chad's looking at is uh, where we've got all the two inch lines in. We've got to bundle together all the two inch returns. And uh, then we've got to bundle together all of the uh, two inch suction lines. And once we've got those bundled in, we'll run those into the pump and uh, filter and heater and everything else that we got to get put in here. Looks a lot better in here, doesn't it, Chad? Oh, totally. Without all the old equipment. Nice and white, clean floor, clean walls. Yeah, dead animals. Um, Snakes. Dead leaf matter. Uh, that sump was full of all sorts of disgusting stuff, bones and everything else. So Amber got it, uh, got it looking good in here. But yeah, we're going to bring all these uh, those verticals. They're just kind of sitting in there. We just kind of stubbed them off. We're going to bring all them up, uh, get them glued in, and then we're going to come out at a 90 in uh, both directions and start attaching some 2-inch valves. We got... Uh, these really nice Hayward valves that have unions on both ends. So we're going to use those to uh, hook up all of our fittings. There you can see the uh, the valve that we're going to be using. We've also got some three-way valves that we're going to be putting in different places. Uh, we've got some checks. This check has a flow meter. And we've got some other just uh, standard checks that we're going to put in place. Try to control the flow, the direction of water. And we got a whole big bundle of pipe here. This is an uh, inch and a half, and there's a piece of three quarter laying on top there. That is for the water feature. That's for the deck jets that are going to go uh, around the perimeter of the pool and shoot into the pool. So that gets plumbed in a separate circuit. And then we got a few more pieces of two inch laying up there for uh, the last of our plumbing here in the pool house. So we're going to get cracking on this and uh, try to get this pool house looking ship shape and get this thing plumbed up. We'll check in with you soon. All right, as you can see, we got. Uh, some valves mocked up here. We're staggering them. Make sure we got plenty of room between them to work on them, take them out, play some repack and whatever. So that's the uh, four wall returns that we added in. Now we've got to do uh, the floor return. We've got to pick that one up and bring it in over here, and that'll be the last uh, of our returns. And then we've got four on the suction side. We've got two skimmers and the main drain and then a vacuum line. And we got to pick all those up and take them this way and uh, get valves on them as well. But we're doing that. Amber is down the pool. She's running the uh, pressure washer. Having a lot of fun, I'm sure. Guys can do help already today. Kids are playing in the woods, having a good time. But Amber's giving the pool another wall. She's going to blast loose any uh, paint that might not be adhering well. And then uh, any dirt in the over the course of the last year since we washed out last time. So we get it all cleaned up and then we'll have to go back through the sand it again and wash it down again be ready for paint. So make good progress. We're going to get back to mocking up some valves here and keep on trucking. Okay, what are you guys up to? Well, we were trying to get this manifold assembled. It's, uh, it's been tricky. We've got yeah. nine pipes coming up through the floor over here. Yeah, and not a lot of space. And uh, no, not a lot of space. <laughs> and we got to put a big ball valve on every one of them. Yeah. To control the flow back to all the different features in the pool. So what are those four right there? These four are the wall returns. Those are the ones that we uh, core drilled through the side oh, of yeah. the pool. Oh yeah. Okay. There were four of those. Yep. Okay. So, so you tie those all together. Time all together into one manifold here, but you've got to have a uh, ball valve on each one of them so you can regulate the, how much water goes to each one of them. Okay. Because the one that's farthest away from the pool is going to need more Pre fluid pressure okay. you know, to have the same stream as the one right here next to us. So okay. Got to be able to. So you're gluing all the PVC pieces together. Yeah, we spent the last couple hours mocking all this stuff up, and now we're 
Get my glued. Now we're actually putting the glue to it and uh, hoping and praying that uh, <laughs> it fits. Everything stays in, <laughs> stays in the right spot. I mean, it fit before you glued it. <laughs> it did, yeah. So it's always, you know, but. a little bit of a question mark whether or not it would still fit once you put the glue to it because everything shrinks a little bit. Right. All those joints get a little tighter. Okay. So we'll have the moment of truth here in just a second. That's the last fitting, so. Excellent. Looks good. I mean, it looks professional. It does. We'll try to spin it on and see what happens. If yep. optometry doesn't work out, you might have a career in plumbing. Yeah, I'm good. Or pool. Pool design. Hot's on the left, cold's on the right. Let's save the rest of Some bubble right there. There. Yep. Looks good. All right, next we got to get uh, the vacuum line, the main drain line, and the two skimmers. Okay. Right, and they're going to come back this way. Okay. And then they'll come over and hook up with the, uh, the pump and gotcha. get sucked into the filter. And all this stuff will make its way through the system and then come back and go out this okay. way. Okay. So you're going to put like your equipment around the back? Yeah. Wall. That's the idea. Try Inside. to get back as far as you can so okay. it's out of the way. Yeah. We've got room for our heater and its vent right up here. And Did we figure out about the sand filter? What about it? Getting the sand in it. <laughs> uh, it's going to be tricky. We may have to cut a hole in the ceiling. Okay. That sounds it's a big fun. filter. It is a big filter. The good news is for at least the bottom, you can pop the top off for most of them. So. Yeah, this one's one piece. So. Oh, it's a one piece tub? Okay. And we'll see. <laughs> so... That's not gonna work, but we'll stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. Yeah. Dun dun dun! Cliffhanger. <laughs> All right, out. So we Chad just used our compound miter saw to lop off another fitting. That thing works pretty good on PVC, doesn't it, Chad? Yeah, it cuts quick and cuts true too. Nice and uh, straight, no burrs. So we are currently working on our. Looping all of our suction lines in together. So we got two skimmers, and we got a vacuum line, and we got the main drain line. We've already got four of our returns tied together, and then you can see this other one kind of floating over here. That'll get pulled in over here in a bit. And then uh, this is what we're working on right now. So this is for skimmer one and skimmer two. That is for vacuum. And then the one back there, you see MD on that pipe. That's main drain. That will come up and across. And then we've got this three-way valve. And it will sit right about here. And then that top port on the three-way valve will be from the main drain. Then it'll come over and drop into here. And this thing will actually be controlled with an electronic uh, actuator. And that way we can use the uh, computer system to dial in exactly how much we're pulling from the skimmers versus main drain. And when the water feature turns on, it actually goes 100% main drain, pulls all the water off the bottom of the pool. And uh, then in ordinary circulation mode, it just kind of splits uh, about 50-50 or so main drain versus skimmers or maybe a little more to the skimmers, you know, depending on how we get this thing tuned in. But the cool thing is with the control panel, we can, uh, we can dial it in using the actuators and it doesn't have to be manual. We don't have to come in here and flip a bunch of valves to make things happen. So Chad's got us some uh, pieces cut there. We're going to try to get those fit. And uh, hopefully if everything lines up, we'll get it glued in place. Okay, guys, welcome back. We're making good progress here in the pump house. Um, as you can see, we've got our manifold assembled, and now we're running the lines out the bottom. Uh, which way are those headed, Chris? These are uh, on the suction side. So we're tying together the two skimmers and the uh, floor, uh, the main drain, and also the vacuum line. All those will be tied together and go into the suction side of the pump. So we're getting all this stuff glued together. We've already dry fit everything. And uh, it's fun working down in that hole trying to get all this stuff to line up. 
Yeah, it's a little hard to see down in there, but um, all the lines 90 up uh, from underneath the pump building here. And so what we've got is the lines that Chris is talking about right now come across the bottom. And so those valves will actually just lay right on the bottom of the pump building here. And that way everything will line up. And then as he mentioned before, we've got that automatic valve going in as well. Uh, that allow for the water feature and also control for the skimmers and main drain. So stay tuned and we'll keep working on this project. All right, folks, so this is where we're finishing up on uh, day one of our big pool plumbing weekend. Yet another big pool plumbing weekend. Uh, we've been at it now. I think this is our fourth week uh, that we've been working on the plumbing. But, you know, you, <laughs> so much preparation goes into... Uh, getting these pipes fit, it's crazy. Uh, you would think, well, that's not a whole lot of work, you know, for a day. But I tell you what, it was difficult getting down into uh, the bottom of the hole over there, getting all the pipes to line up and getting all these valves fitted and all these little bits and pieces of pipe and everything that we use to make these manifolds fitted. It was just tough. It's time consuming. But uh, thankfully, I have my brother Chad here, my dad here. Uh, they were lending a hand today. And uh, while we were working on this, Amber was down in the bottom of the pool uh, giving it uh, a good power washing. The uh, pipes that you see on this side all coming together, those are all on the suction side. So those are the two skimmers and the vacuum line. The one that's not hooked up yet back here, that's our main drain line. And as I mentioned, that's going to come across here at a diagonal. And it'll actually hook up right about here where my hand is. Uh, there'll be a valve there uh, controlling that. The rest of these, uh, the top one here, that is the floor return. So that's what sends heated water uh, out to the floor of the pool. And then over here, this is the uh, four wall returns. So those will help control the circulation near the surface of the pool and help get everything into the skimmer. So we're just about done with the most complicated part of this. Back my way out of here without breaking my skull on the roof of this little squatty pool house. We're about done with the uh, most complicated part of it. You see this bundle of pipe here. That is for the water feature. The six deck jets that go around the outside of the pool. So I still got to run that big loop around the pool. And then that's got to get tied in over here as well. Should be fun trying to find room for that pipe uh, to come out of the pump house. But again, Amber uh, did a great job today power washing. She took off a lot more loose paint and uh, really helped to get this cleaned up. She didn't get uh, the deep end done. You can see it still looks pretty scuzzy. But if the weather cooperates, we'll get that done tomorrow. And uh, hopefully a lot more in our pump house here. We'll start, actually start setting some of the equipment in place. So that takes care of this evening. And uh, we will catch up with you guys tomorrow when we'll be back down here trying to wrap up uh, some more of this pool plumbing. So uh, we'll be sure to bring you all the action again tomorrow. See you soon. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's day two on the project here. Another weekend of pool Renovations are ongoing. Uh, we're down here at the house and kind of sopping through the mud today. We got some rain overnight and some rain this morning. So everybody uh, was enjoying the day yesterday. It was beautiful. Uh, the ground was pretty dry. And then today uh, we're back in the mud. So we're going to be doing most of our cutting and stuff inside and then ferrying parts back and forth between here and the pool house. Uh, that way we can avoid dragging as much mud as possible into the pool house. Because a lot of this work we got to do sitting down on the ground. Uh, so we don't want to be carrying a bunch of junk in there and then sitting in it kind of nasty So uh, we're gonna get started here. Let me uh, give you a quick update on where we finished yesterday All right, so here we go. We got uh, four of the returns and Three of the suction lines all plumbed together yesterday in their in their uh, respective manifolds. We got uh, Let's see one two three. three. Yeah, we got uh, a whole bunch of valves in there <laughs> Two inch ball valves. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight ball valves plumbed in place already. We gotta run one more for the main drain line. And now we're gonna start uh, using some of those three way valves to run the uh, valves into the intake and discharge uh, manifolds here. So we're gonna get to work on that. Uh, Chad just went over and fired up the uh, pump in the deep end there, start sucking out some of the water that crept in in the rain showers here. But we're going to get started and see what we can get uh, knocked out here. So we just moved the uh, sand filter over from the driveway uh, into the opening of the pool house here. 
uh, using the wheelbarrow. We had uh, laid some plastic in there, laid the sand filter in on top of it, and then we uh, rolled it up in there, tied it down, and rolled it carefully across the muddy, hazardous yard over here to the uh, pool house. So we got that sitting in place, and you can see, obviously, the uh, clearances are going to be pretty tight. And we have a plan to deal with that. Uh, right now we're trying to get all of our plumbing and everything done in the pool house. Uh, but before we come in and redo the concrete patio and everything around here, we're going to actually saw cut off part of the roof. Back to uh, where the hillside comes down and meets the, uh, the old concrete roof. And then we're actually going to build up uh, with cinder block on the front and sides. And then actually be able to put uh, you know a couple of full size doors um, that's going to open up quite a bit of space in the front here, as well as give us the clearance that we need to service the sand filter, um, be able to hang up pool toys, hang up, uh, you know, uh, pool cleaning instruments and all that sort of stuff. So that's the plan with that. You can see uh, the size of the old pool filter, pretty small, but uh, given the size of the pool, it's 20 by 40, and the depth of the pool, and given the velocity of the new pump that we have, big variable speed pump, and then also the uh, water feature that we're going to run. Our uh, equipment guy determined that we really need a 36 inch filter uh, to handle that volume. Otherwise, a smaller filter like that uh, would be a choke point and would reduce our flow so significantly that uh, you could you know, shorten the life of the pump, um, make your filtration subpar and everything else. So anyway, so we got this big old thing uh, sitting in the door here. Now we're going to kind of scoot it back into the back, uh, get it into the place where we want to uh, uh, plumb it in, and then we're going to sit our new pump and the valve, which looks similar to that one on the ground over there. We'll put those in, uh, fit them dry, just kind of screw everything together, and then that's going to help us understand where we need to have our return fittings and our uh, discharge fittings kind of terminate uh, within the pump house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing rolling in here and get it into position. It's starting to rain again, which is lovely. But uh, we're gonna keep on working, try to get some more of this knocked out today. Right, uh, I was gonna walk right in the center. No, I mean the outside on your grip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. you gotta explain what you're doing. This looks a little shady. <laughs> see if you can twist it. Going the same way, see if it'll stand up. No. I was hoping it would, because that would be uh, easier to grip. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? All right, so that's our heater in the metal. Yeah, so we got this heater. This is uh, the brand new natural gas pool heater, and it came palletized. It is screwed okay. to the pallet. And All right. Once we take it off, there's not really any place to carry it. Yeah. So the plan is to uh, carry it on the pallet. Okay. And rather than just carry the pallet, we're going to try to go old school all right back to our egyptian i was gonna say here. this looks like yeah we're picking up pharaoh here so. like old pharaoh's going for a ride all right so we'll see what happens here it worked for them let's hope it works for us let's uh let's get coordinated here all right i'm, I'm gonna beat the drum yeah yeah cadence say when uh on three one two, two three. three. Oh my gosh oh, oh. oh. okay, okay. Uh, Tell me when you need to sit down, and we'll go center, down together. Center down a minute. Let's try something here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What are we doing? Well, Why are we sitting down already? Well, let's let two of us get on one end, and we'll take the short end. In other words, put more weight on our side, and then whoever's tailing won't have as much. Well, I mean, do you need more two by four on that side? Yeah, I think one oh, grab, about the same. Yeah, one get. It's a little, it's a little longer on Chad's side. We'll say that way, that way we can. Whatever you guys want to do. I, well, I just thought that might be easier. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, and three. Right. Oh, yeah, that's Take two. Awesome. All right. So they moved the two by fours the other direction, and uh, they're off. You guys look like uh, you know Indiana Jones. <laughs> Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> Good trap work, yeah. Chad may not want to.
want to come back next weekend. <laughs> well, you may, considering we got all this done this weekend. Well, that's true. You knew it was, you knew it was coming next weekend. <laughs> this thing has way of regenerating itself. <laughs> well, I, I promise a really good Easter feast to make up for all this work. Awesome. Yeah, you want to grab a couple of bricks here so we can put something in it? Yep. Okay. A regular one or a? Okay. All right. How many do you need? Okay. Come on. All right. Good job. <laughs> Brotherly work. All right. So the heater is about to go in, we hope. Yeah. It's been a little tense around here today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are in a mud hole, especially after the rain. You need me to move that out? Yeah, lift up on it then. Okay, it. and I'll pull. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to move the whole thing. There we, oh. there we go. Thank you, Charlie. Okay. <laughs> well, can you get out? <laughs> Not really. Oh, my goodness. I'm just going to have a drink while I'm back here. Okay. Just water, right? <laughs> Okay, why is the newer equipment so much bigger than the older equipment? Because <laughs> oh. the old equipment was undersized. You think? Yeah. Okay. Based on our volume and based on the flow that we yeah. need to properly circulate and filter the water and properly heat the water, we need bigger All equipment. Right. So, bigger sand filter, bigger heater. Bigger pump, bigger lines. The old pool was plumbed with inch and a half. Okay. We plumbed it all in two inch. Okay. I'm gonna try to remove as many barriers to flow as you can. Okay. Whew. Well, good work. Thanks. All right, so here's where we're wrapping up for the weekend. Uh, we got thunderstorms moving into the area, so I'm gonna button up this place and uh, get it secure before the storms get here, get all my stuff picked up and head for the house. Um, we got the majority of the lines plumbed, valves in place, uh, manifolds made up. We got that giant sand filter moved into place. We got that heavy natural gas pool heater moved into place. Uh, we got the pump, the variable speed pump in the back there, just kind of mocked up. And then here in the front, we've got the uh, three-quarter horse pump for the water feature just kind of mocked up there I'm still figuring out the plumbing you know you can see I got some other stuff on the floor there that's the salt cell and the flow switch uh, we've got 
a check flow meter combo there coming from the heater. And then we've got another check here to protect the uh, pump and everything and the heater from the salt cell. Going back this way and then we have another check uh, on this side to keep everything from back flowing when the pump shuts off and then I have to put yet another check in that will keep the water feature from back flowing when it shuts off. So we got a bunch of checks and everything to keep everything going the way it's supposed to. But right now got everything mocked up. I still need to do a little something over in this corner. I just need a little bit more room here uh, with some of these fittings. We need a little more room for the salt cell. So still trying to get this figured out. I'm gonna have to uh, come back down here another day this week and uh, do a little pondering and then start making up some fittings and everything and get everything uh, where I want it. And then hopefully uh, go ahead and get everything glued in place. After that, still gotta get all the wiring run and then gotta mount the control panel and gotta mount a, a breaker box over here. Probably have to run a 60 amp panel inside here for all this uh, hardware. And plus, we're also going to run a new line through the ditch over here to the pool. And then we'll put a inch and a half loop all the way around the pool. That's for the water feature. It's going to have three deck jets on this side of the pool and three deck jets on the other side of the pool. Those will squirt up and out into the pool. Really uh, give you some nice ambiance when you're just sitting around the pool in the evenings. So, big weekend of uh, plumbing here in the pool house. Just been... You know a lot of thinking and a lot of just you know mocking stuff up and then being happy with it gluing it together and then moving some more stuff in thinking some more you know it just takes a lot of trial and error when you're dealing with a limited space and some large equipment uh, to get all this stuff mocked up and and then finally glued in place so looking real good after a day and a half of work down here so that's going to do it for this episode of Woodmere State Revival. So glad to have my dad and my brother here this weekend. They were big help. Uh, it was great having them on hand to move uh, the big heavy pool equipment. You know, that sand skimmer, that big 36-inch skimmer, that thing's heavy, even empty. Uh, we used the wheelbarrow to move that. That worked out nice. And then, uh, as you saw, we did the Roman chair carry there for uh, the pool heater on the pallet, and that worked out great. And then we actually had to uh, do some more work to the pool heater. We had to uh, flop uh, the, the guts of the pool heater around so that the water inlets and outlets came out the right side because it was set up for right plumbing. We really needed left plumbing. So uh, we had to take the whole pool heater apart and switch that around. Thankfully those Hayward pool heaters are made to do that and uh, that made our life a little bit easier. Uh, so again, fantastic weekend. Weather's moving in. I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up and, and head out. Be sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss a single episode of Woodmere State Revival. Give us a like if you would please. We're always happy to see uh, that you guys appreciate what we're doing here. Got any comments or questions? Leave those in the space down below. We always like to answer those and uh, we like to communicate with folks who watch the videos. And be sure to pass the channel around. Share it with your family and friends. We got lots more exciting updates to come. Uh, we're going to get this pool knocked out over the course of the next month. and then. Uh, right about that time our contractor who is doing all of the electric the plumbing and HVAC and all that sort of stuff is going to get wrapped up uh, by putting up the drywall and then we're going to move back inside the house and it'll be a mad thrash to get all of the trim work and the uh, hardwood floors and the cabinets and the tile and all that stuff completed um, so that we can move into the house this summer so that's what we're shooting for so stick with us we'll be back again real soon take care bye-bye